Hey everybody, uh, it's Heck here from Big Guys Hut. Um, excited to come to you today on this Monday uh, to talk some cards. So I do have some good and bad news. So the bad news is is that I did over the weekend receive and open up uh, my three mega boxes. Uh, I didn't have my stuff to go, wasn't able to go live, so um, I did go ahead and open them. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to review them for you. Uh, so again, I did get three mega boxes of 2020 Draft Picks Panini Prism. Uh, these boxes here, what's interesting is, you know, as you start to look into the hobby, is like these boxes can be found at, per, supposedly found at Walmart, and you get them for about 40 bucks, but usually they're sold out whenever you go, you can't find them. I had to order mine on eBay, and now what you're typically doing is you're finding them online for about 60 to 70, um, sometimes even $80 a box. Um, so I am going to show you what you go ahead and find inside these. Um, this would be some of the more uh, I guess it's not low end, but it's certainly not the high end stuff either. But I think they have fantastic cards. Um, and my personal opinion, I do think you get some bang for your buck. Um, so let's just go ahead and show you what we got out of there. So what's really interesting, and again, just to remind you, these are three boxes. Oh, and by the way, the bad news was that I, I did open the three boxes. The good news is that I stopped by Walmart, uh, grabbed some stuff that was hanging around there, um, to go ahead and open with you here. So I felt bad for you, so got myself some more cards, you know, how it works out. So what I really like about the Draft Picks Prism is that this right here, this policy, this is the base veteran, but these are veteran inserts or parallels. And to me, when you're going to get some veteran in there, because it's not everybody's favorite base, um, I love that you get pretty much an equal amount of inserts. So I'm not going to go over the veteran uh, base, but I am going to review with you just breeze by uh, the veteran inserts and parallels, color variations, just to show you what you kind of get in here. So let's start off hot. You know, we come in here, we have Tom Brady, the green. I did go ahead and sleeve it uh, just because it's the Brady man. We have a red Tom Brady uh, crusade insert, a red Mahomes. A purple Kyler Murray Crusade, base Kyler Murray All Americans, an orange Kyler Murray All Americans, another Kyler, a hollow Baker Mayfield, Marquise Brown Red All American, Darrell Henderson Hollow All American, Darrell Henderson Purple, Josh Jacobs Red, Josh Jacobs uh, Base Crusade, Aaron Rodgers Crusade. I think the next ones are going to be Crusades, CMC, Daniel Jones, Zeke, Zeke. Gardner Minshew, Baker Mayfield, Deshaun Watson. These are all the crusade inserts that you're seeing here. Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, Saquon Barkley. Uh, oh, this is <laughs> this made its way in there, but that's one of the base cards, a good old Brady there. Silver Hollow, Todd Gurley, an orange Sony Michelle, a purple Preston, Will Preston Williams, Chris Carson purple, Joey Bosa green. Hollows, we have Dak, A.J. Brown, Odell Beckham Jr., Cortland Sutton, and then Reds. These are exclusive to the Mega Boxes, um, so these are pretty cool, and you get a good amount of just the Reds. These are all Reds here. So Deshaun Watson, D.K. Metcalf, Josh Jacobs, Cooper Cup, Emmett Smith, Jared Goff, Leonard Fournette, Aaron Jones, Miko Hardman Jr., Julio Jones, Nick Chubb, Alexander Madison, Sam Darnold, Devin Singletary, Josh Allen, Matt Ryan, and Carson Wentz. All right. So those are all. This is your veteran um, cards that come in with the pack. Again, you get a good amount of veteran base, but you get an equal amount of um, veteran insert or parallels. Now, let's take a look at this. Same kind of deal with the rookies. This is my base rookie pile, which I'm going to go over with you in a second. And then this is the rookie inserts. And this is not including the hits that came in here, which I, uh, I kind of removed. So they pretty much come equal with base and inserts and variations. That, to me, is something that separates it from other products. I think a lot of times, um, I, I would say uh, you probably would be lucky to get a 25% uh, insert or parallel uh, piece in it. So I enjoyed it. So I'm going to go ahead and review... Uh, go over the rookies. These are the base rookies that came in. We have Derek Brown, C.J. Henderson, Terrell Lewis, Curtis Weaver, Shea Patterson, Javon Kinlaw, Brian Lewerke, Curtis Weaver, Cam Akers, Keshawn Vaughn, K.J. Hill, Jalen Rieger, K.J. Hamler, Justin Jefferson, Shea Patterson, Nate Stanley, Javon Kinlaw, 
Jacob Eason, J.K. Dobbins, Jerry Judy, Anthony Gordon, K.J. Hamler, Colin Johnson, K.J. Hill, Jared Pinckney, Jordan Love, C.J. Henderson, Nate Stanley, DeAndre Swift, Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, Tua Tagovailoa, Chase Young, Justin Herbert, and Jeff Okuda, and another Justin Herbert. So those are the base rookies that came. Uh, again, remember, I bought three mega boxes, um, which right now you can find at around 60 to 70 bucks each. Currently, that may change soon. Um, but these are three. These are the base rookies that came in three boxes. Uh, still good value in my opinion. And now let me show you some of the colors that we got in this. So we have a purple T. Higgins, a green De Grant Delpit, Christian Fulton Green, Zach Moss Orange, Stephen Montez Orange. Now we have the Hollows. We have Henry Ruggs III, Jalen Hurts, C.J. Henderson, Javon Kinlaw, Curtis Weaver, A.J. Epinesa, Yeter Gross Matos, Shea Patterson, Chase Claypool, K.J. Hamler, K.J. Hill. And then the red, again, these are exclusive to the Mega Boxes. We have Bryce Hall, Antonio Gandy-Golden, Curtis Weaver, Christian Fulton, Nate Stanley, Brian Lewerke, Brian Edwards, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Shea Patterson, K.J. Hamler, Eno Benjamin, K.J. Hill, Colin Johnson, Jerry Judy, Jonathan Taylor, Chase Young, Jeff Okuda, and a T. Higgins. So, again, my opinion here, remind you there are three boxes. When you look, and this isn't including the hits that came in, which I'll show you in a second. When you look at the stack of base rookies in comparison to what the uh, uh, parallels, the colors that came in the rookies, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, in my opinion, great value. I love, I'm a big parallel fan. Um, I'm just intrigued by the idea of just, you know, cards that have a slight difference, whether it's a color in the background, a marking, something like that. Now, I do want to go ahead and show you the hits that came in with this. So keep in mind with this product, they say here that on uh, they average one autograph per box. I've opened about six boxes of these, uh, and I will say that I've averaged two. This uh, the, One of these three was actually the first time that I received one auto. Uh, and it is the first time that I actually received a Panini points as well. So these are my hits. Um, I will say I what I did, I received Panini points in one of the boxes. What Panini does is they go ahead and they actually give, um, they put these points in, 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 in to replace one of the hits, which is a bummer. Um, but you do get some points. What you do is you down, you go to this, uh, you download the rewards app, which uses code here, and then it gives you some instructions or some info on the back here on how to actually redeem these points. Um, so this counts as an auto, uh, technically. So I'm going to go ahead and put that and count that towards that, including the Panini points. We received five total autographs, and um, I want to go ahead and show you them. So we showed you the Panini points. We received a. Troy Pride Jr. Right now, this is a purple and green variation, and this one is numbered 19 of 199. Troy Pride Jr. out of Notre Dame, and it's got a purple green look to it. Very nice card there. We got a Nick Co. Nick Co. This is like a light orange uh, variation here. This one is also numbered to 149 all right and again we have nick co and he's coming out of auburn autograph we have a jordan elliott green this is a, a like a lime green variation john jordan elliott right and then this one here uh, is also numbered out of 125 124 out of 125. I will say, even though we got the Panini points, the fact that I got three autographs that were numbered is actually pretty impressive. And I think that the one box actually came with two of them. Um, so pretty, pretty crazy. You don't typically find, um, you know, it isn't common to find uh, numbered, all the numbered um, autographs in this. Typically you find non-numbered ones, but sometimes you get good names like 
Antoine Winfield Jr. So this is the red. Again, exclusive to the Mega Box, which kind of gives it some rarity to me. Uh, so it's Antoine Winfield Jr. This again, not numbered, but it is Prism. This is the red variation of it. All right, so I did receive four autographs. This is probably the biggest autograph that came in the box in the boxes. Um, I like the autographs that came with it. Uh, I'm a fan of it. And again, if you include the Panini points, that's five total. And aside from the autos, I do want to show you, I also found a silver Justin Herbert, which I'm pretty excited about. And I also received and I found a purple Joe Burrow. All right, so again, like for me, think of it as $60, $70 a box. Um, you get 60 cards. Uh, I I enjoy it. They're really good looking cards. Um, I would say probably some of the easiest ones to try to like learn how to maintain the card. Um, but great stuff overall. I enjoyed it. Um, we're not sure when Panini's going to get back to making some cards. But I will say, uh, don't go crazy in regards to don't overspend on stuff probably 70s the max you want to go just because when things do normalize and then the nfl uniform version of, of prison comes out the draft picks typically do tend to drop but since we don't know when that's going to be right now the hot stuff for football is draft picks prism um and yeah so as i mentioned i did open these without you so what I did to make up for it for you, and I only did it for you, uh, was I went ahead and I actually got um, I got some stuff from Walmart. I want to talk to you a little bit because, as I mentioned, one of the reasons I got back into this was really to talk to um, the beginners of the hobby. So, you know, young kids who are looking to get into it or even some um, some guys or girls who are just getting into it later in life. That's okay. Uh, the hobby can be very expensive. Uh, so just want to give you some tips and pointers um, from my end. So what you're seeing here, this is all stuff I got from Walmart. Now, I'll talk to you very quick about where to buy stuff and where, you know, your choice. So higher end stuff you're not going to find in Walmart. You have to go to hobby shops, uh, card stores. They don't have them around as often. as They're not as common as they used to be. Uh, but that's where I go uh, if you are going to buy anything hobby. Um, and hobbies are the best uh, they're the expensive stuff, but it's where you have more, mo most likely to hit on some of the good stuff. Walmart and Target, what they're good for is they're good for things like these, which are called hangers. All right, so excuse me. These right here are actually called cellos. So they're good for things like this right here, right, which you have the cellos, again, for cellophane packs. Uh, these are the hanger boxes here. Um, and the reason I got these is what I do is I, I actually went to go look for some basketball stuff, some mosaic, which you can't find right now. But I was just like, hey, let me just take a shot at it. And what I do is whenever I find it, whenever I go there, I go ahead and I, I, take a, I take a look at the football clearance stuff. And I usually buy up what they have. And the reason is these boxes here, the hanger boxes, these typically are anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks a piece. Um, yeah, I ended up getting them for a little bit over 8 bucks just because they were on clearance. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, hey, by this point, I know the names I'm looking for in here. So, um, you know, hey, might as well give it a shot. And uh, I'm never against opening some cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this uh, this uh, pack right here la uh, for last. Because um, that's, I guess, if you're going towards what some of the higher end product is. I do think that we're going to get our value out of here. But when I when you look at these five things, I spent 36 bucks on these five things right here. I'm going to get a lot of cards. Um, so it's going to be tough. We'll see. We'll see what you think of the value. We'll see what, what I think of the value. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay. So starting off, we have 2018 Panini football. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have CJ Anderson, Bay, Sterling Shepard, Zach Martin, Jeremy Hill, Curtis Samuel. We have... And then Joku, Zay Jones, Kyle Long, Bruce Irvin, Vic Beasley Jr., Devontae Parker, Geno Atkins, Antonio Gates, Marlon Humphrey, Brandon Cooks. And then this is an insert, excuse me, a variation here. As you can see, it has Panini at the top. So as you take a look in comparison with the basics like, it does not have the Panini at the top. So we have a Whitney Merciless Panini 
variation. Nice, okay. And then we have a Bruce Irvin Panini variation. Ooh. A Stefan Diggs human highlight reel insert of Stefan Diggs. A Jalen Ramsey all pro insert. And then, this is interesting. We have a DJ Moore. This is Rico, but it's kind of like textured. Hmm. Nice. This right here, again, I bought this on clearance. This was about $350, I believe, or $349. Um, my opinion, not bad. A couple of inserts. As I said, I collect base. I collect inserts, parallels. Um, $350. Uh, nothing I would have bought in there individually. Um, but it's a cool-looking DJ Moore um, textured card there in that insert. Huh. Not too, I'm not upset with it. All right. Let's go ahead and check out this absolute... Okay, so, all right, we have Jonathan Stewart, Case Keenum, Jimmy Garoppolo, pretty interesting looking cards though, huh? Nice. T.Y. Hilton, David Johnson, Devontae Parker, Le'Veon Bell. Ooh, that looks different. Anything special about that? Interesting. This looks just a little bit different. Um, as you see here, this is like the gold, but this has like some sparkle to it. So it's certainly, it's certainly a variation. I don't know if there's anything that marks it off, but that's very nice. Whew. See, I lost, oh, here we go. Look, Cam Newton version of the same thing. These are cool. Those are very nice looking. John Elway Revolutionary. Ew, late game heroics. 121.18. Tom Brady. Nice. Some rookies here. Simi Cobbs Jr. Kimuku Kamoko Ture. Uh, Kareem Hunt. These are back to some base. Suggs. James White. Dak Prescott. Jay Ajayi. Deshaun, Wa Deshaun Watson. And a Derrick Henry. And this is a little extra card that comes in here. I believe this pack I paid five bucks for. Um, I'm pretty happy with. I like again, and what you're. I'm not chasing anything big here when I'm buying stuff at Walmart. What I'm doing is I'm checking. I, I'd like to see some cool stuff. Um, I like good looking cards, variations, things that are exclusive to Walmart. That's kind of what you're searching for. All right. Most times I've seen people hit big names out of Walmart product or Target product, but. Just remember, if you're going, if that's where you're shopping for your cards, it's more of you're looking for different variations. You're not looking to hit big. Um, but it is a pretty cool to chase there. And this is, I'm, I'm also not including um, my conversation. Uh, I'm not including the basketball stuff in that because basketball prices are insane. Insane. One box of select right now, hobby. Um, I saw a box last night that someone bought for themselves. It was $700 a box. I'm like, that's bananas. All right, so here we have a 2018 playoff. Um, this cost $848. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, nice big fat pack there. Okay, let's get this opened up. And again, what I like about it and why I kind of wait, um, they're, they don't have a lot in stock. Whenever they put something on clearance, um, this at least, at the very least, is, is down five bucks. Um, probably double the price um, sometimes of what it costs if you buy it there. So it all depends on what you're, what you're looking to do. I'm in no rush. I'm just, I like looking at, I like collecting all of it. All right, so let's get through it. Tyrod Taylor, David Johnson, Demarius Thomas, T.Y. Hilton, Tyler Eifert, Eric Berry, Tavon Austin, Joe Flacco, Jimmy Graham, Devin Funches, Ryan Grant, Patty Mahomes, Alan Hearns, Deshaun Watson, Jordan Howard, Marquise Lee, David Njoku, Chandler Jones, LeGarrette Blunt, Zay Jones, Will Fuller V, Cooper Cup, Alshon Jeffrey. We have Mike Evans, Paul Perkins, Chris Thompson. Bruce Irvin, Kenyon Drake, a lot of bases you're seeing here. Jimmy Garoppolo, Julian Edelman, 
Deshaun Jackson, Jonathan Stewart, Todd Gurley, Mike Williams, Jesse James, James White, Jameis Winston, Sterling Shepard, Josh Dodson, Doug Martin, Ryan Tannehill, Joe Hayden, Marquise Lee. This is a green parallel, not numbered. David Njoku, green parallel. Alex Smith, green parallel. Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper there. And let me see. We also have Ronald Jones the second. And here we have some. Oh, that was a rookie. That was our first rookie. Ronald Jones the second. Christopher Hernun. Hey, talk about a banger. This is this is why you buy the stuff, ladies and gents. All right, so we have a Christopher Herndon. Um, and pretty much, let me show you. Let me grab my stuff. I want to get here. Okay, so when I tell you, you never know what you're going to find, this right here is the reason you get this stuff. A Lamar Jackson rookie wave. Beautiful. Well worth the pack because this is going to be, this is worth more than what the pack is. So uh, that pack there cost me eight bucks. This right here. Very, very nice looking Lamar Jackson rookie wave. Beaut. I will take it. Nice. See? That's the reason you do this stuff. Just looking for variations, you end up finding some pretty cool stuff. We got a Jimmy Garoppolo. This is also a hollow version of this. This is Air Command. Insert there. Thunder and Lightning. I'm excited about that rookie wave. Let me see if I can get that. See enough of you there. Thunder and Lightning, Tyler Lockett and Doug Baldwin. A Donald Driver Hidden Gems. We have a get the freak in the same in the same pack. Get the heck out of here. That's um, that's awesome. In the same pack. Wow. Talk about worth it. And I was going through and I'm like, man, this is a lot of base. A lot of bass. I'm like, you know, I'm not really a fan of it, but then, bang. And look at that. And look what you find. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Very, very, very nice. So I got a Sam Darnold in the same pack. Eight bucks. Sam Darnold, Lamar Jackson, Rookie Waves. I may have to take a trip out to another Walmart here. <laughs> Cam Newton. Mike Hughes. Back to base here. Sony Michelle rookie. No, Mike Hughes rookie. Sony Michelle rookie. Kalen Balaj. Lorenzo Carter. Jair Alexander. And DJ Moore rookie. Wow. <laughs> that, wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. So this is that, that's what I tell you about. When you're opening up these packs, you don't go in with the expectations of like, hey, I'm going to hit some type of crazy big name autograph or, you know, thousand dollar card. You're not going to do that. But what you will find, again, in an eight dollar pack, you'll find some very in demand, very wanted, desired rookies, and these are in phenomenal, phenomenal shape. Phenomenal. That is that is that is beautiful. That's that's awesome. A Lamar Jackson and a Sam Darnold rookie wave. And mind you, what you're seeing here, these were all the last ones that were in the store for that uh, product. So, um, again, that's where I tell you I like the clearance stuff just because you don't know what you're going to get there. But what you don't find, you're not uh, – a lot of times they don't have much stuff. I don't do it really much with the score. Um, not that you can find good stuff with the score. Um, there's just – it's just my personal preference. I, I you know, just because I try to find um, other other variations or other products come out. All right, so 2018 Absolute Football. This is another fat pack here. All right, so fall in love. The, the last pack did did big things for us. Let's see what this one does here. Okay. Boop, boop. Very nice. Okay, so we have Devonta Freeman, Adam Thielen, Joe Mixon, Marshawn Lynch, Aaron Rodgers, Cameron Wake, 
Jordan Howard, Teddy Bridgewater, Von Miller, Richard Sherman, Blake Bortles, Matt Ryan, Dalvin Cook, A.J. Green, Derek Carr, Josh Norman, Ryan Tannehill, Mitch Trubisky, Dalvin Cook. This is that. This is that really cool. I gotta figure out what this is because that is they are great looking cards. They are really, really good looking. They are super sharp in every color. Wow. Antonio Callaway, the rookie with that variation on there. Beautiful. Okay, Roquan Smith rookie card. Dalton Schultz, hey. Bo Scarbo. Equinemius St. Brown. Denzel Ward. Alex Mc McGo. Justin Reed. Javon Wims. Whoa. Matthew Stafford. Late game heroics. These, I don't, whatever this sparkle is, is insane. It is beautiful. I know it's not numbered, but that card, they just look really, really good. Like, really good. I don't know. Like, this is, these are great. Introductions of Carrion Johnson. Antonio Brown, covering ground. And we have Jarvis Landry. Alshon Jeffrey. Jimmy Graham. Marcus Mariota. Todd Gurley. LaShawn McCoy. Golden Tate. Bobby Wagner. Patty Mahomes. Joe Flacco. Rob Gronkowski. Josh Gordon. Carson Wentz. Clay Matthews, Jared Goff, and then we end with Bilal Powell and Marvin Jones Jr. Um, nothing crazy in there. Um, again, I will point out, nice stack of cards. I believe it's 50 cards that came in there. Uh, for 50 cards, the nice little versions of Parallels. Again, the clearance track, 8 bucks. The clearance makes me feel so much better about this stuff. This stack right here, if I had paid 15 16 bucks, I'd be pretty bummed. At $8.00. I'm a happy man. I'll take it. And uh, one thing I do like about the Absolute is I do enjoy their base. Nothing against them, but I just prefer looking at something like this than something like that. So um, enjoy that. Like that very much. And we are on to our very last pack, which is 2018 Playbook. Now, the reason I say this for last is that this uh, seller right here, this actually ran... Um, uh, this actually, I paid eight bucks for this one just by itself. This is a higher end product, the playbook. Um, if you can find these, I know if I find them anywhere, I will go ahead and grab them. I say that until I open up and see what we get in here. So let's check this bad boy out together. All right. So we have a Blake Bortles, Alvin Kamara, James Conner, Adrian Peterson. Juju Smith-Schuster, Mitchell Trubisky, J.J. Watt, Jameis Winston, Emmanuel Sanders, Rob Gronkowski. Ooh, a variation here. We have an Andy Dalton. Not numbered, but as you can see, it has, a, I guess it's like a copper variation there at the bottom. Kenyon Drake. Ooh, James Washington, X's and O's. A Le'Veon Bell blitz insert. A James Conner. It's a Steelers box here. <laughs> James Conner. Zoning, zoning commission insert. A Deontay Burnett rookie card. Dorrance Armstrong. Hey. DJ Moore rookie. Will Disley. Alan Lazard. Mike White. Lorenzo Carter. A Darius Leonard rookie. Marcel Aitman and a JT Barrett. Okay, so as I mentioned, this pack here cost me eight bucks. Um, to remind you, uh, uh, I did. I bought five, I believe, five of those uh, clearance items from Walmart. For I ended up getting. I guess this is going to be at least let's say, at least one hundred fifty cards, um, if not more, in there. Uh, kind of check that out. So for 36 bucks, um, 
I, in my opinion, great buy. I enjoyed it. The two big hits that came out were the Lamar Jackson rookie wave and the Sam Darnold rookie wave. Um, but again, depends on what you're looking for. If you just want to get some cards, get some really cool stuff to look at, you don't want to break the bank, Walmart clearance items are my personal favorite way to go. Um, but uh, I'll be trying to bring some other stuff your way. I do have a box of 2013 Select Hobby that I have coming to open up with you guys. And uh, I'll be keeping an eye on some other stuff too. All right. Until next time, take it easy. Big Heck out.